I recently learned that EV chargers that use a plug, you can have a really dangerous situation, including a fire at your house. So I actually found out that the plug that I have is a bad one. And so I bought this Hubble. So let's get educated in how to do that. The first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you shut the power off. So I go into my panel, this is actually a sub panel, and this is actually my charger. I know it's 50 amp circuit, and that's the on side. So you just go like that, you shut it off, and we'll check and make sure the line and the voltage is cut. You should be able to see the voltmeter on top. I put it at the top there. So I'm gonna push this in and make sure we're making contact. Uh, yeah, you can see there's basically no voltage. Take off the plate. I, I did not normally pull this cord out. It was in the whole time. But the vast majority of the time I was using this, I was w charging my Ford Fusion Energy, which only charges at four kilowatts times. Anyway, I'm changing this because I don't want to risk a fire. So I took this, um, this, this receptacle out. This is the one that I ordered. And what's interesting, just do a little comparison. So this one's, the new one is a little bigger. Um, they have a similar screw mechanism. That, that holds it. Uh, this one's just from the side and top where this one is just underneath. But, um, you know, this is full brass. This is not, um, which is better for heat. And the other thing which you can't see here is this is actually pretty light. I'm surprised. This is definitely kind of more plasticky and this is a lot more like kind of hard rubber. And I think that this is the, the big difference is when this gets hot, it's going to melt. And, and this is really much more resilient. So I, even though I don't really have a lot of, um, you know, notification here that this would melt, uh, I'm really glad that I'm changing it. And if you have something other than a Hubble, you should change it too. One thing I wanted to show you, this actually has a strip guide right here. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it actually says strip guide. And if I go and then show you next to this wire here, the black one, you can see it's a perfect strip length. So that means I don't need to strip it anymore and I'll just keep putting it on. One of the things that I was told you should do is not only like reposition the outlet to go into the socket, but once you reposition it, take it out and then tighten it one more time. So this is basically how it's ultimately gonna go. I gotta obviously straighten the box and align with the metal behind it, but I'm gonna just take that advice. I'm gonna pull it out one more time like this and I'm just gonna make sure that those screws are tight. Yeah, see, actually, it did, I'm glad that I did that because it did loosen a little bit. So definitely make sure you do that. All right, so I have all those screws tightened. Now I just need to line up this hole through that box and then um, ultimately to the back box. So let me just get these four. Okay, take a moment and line the holes up for the cover plate. Now that we have the outlet done, we need to go back in here and throw the breaker on. Okay, okay you can see the voltmeter there and obviously when you put them together, there's nothing. And then when I go like this into here and into there, you can see uh, 250, okay. Um, and then to ground, it should be about 120. Um, and there it is, 125. There it is. Okay, so now we can plug it in and we're done. So all we got to do here is take this and plug it in. Ta-da! OK, 
Okay, so, and there you go. You can see that it's got power. So I recommend if you don't have the Hubble connector or if you don't have the Hubble adapter, you should get it. If you like the contents of this video, please click the like button and subscribe. If you have ideas for future videos, please put them in the comments below.